if dimension of critical velocity vc of a liquid flowing through a tube are expressed as so dimension of critical velocity are written as eta to the power x rho to the power y r to the power z where eta rho and r are the coefficient of viscosity of liquid density of liquid and radius of the tube respectively then the values of x and y and z are given by right now uh, we will compare the dimension of critical velocity and this term so what is the dimension of critical velocity dimension of critical velocity is a velocity now velocity displacement upon time so we can write em0 l1 t minus 1 is the dimension of critical velocity now dimension of coefficient of viscosity rho to the power y r to the power z now what is the dimension of eta eta we can find dimension of eta from stokes law that is f is equal to okay i will write here to find dimension of eta we will use formula from stokes law that is f is equal to 6 pi eta rv right so eta can be written as f divided by rv so eta can be written as f divided by 6 pi rv so dimension of eta is dimension of force is m1 l1 t minus 2 and dimension of r is l1 dimension of v is l1 t minus 1 so this can be written as m1 l minus 1 and t minus 1 right this is the dimension of eta and we know dimension of uh, density and dimension of r so we can write here the dimension of eta to the power x rho to the power y r to the power z is equal to dimension of eta is m to the power 1 means m to the power x l to the power minus x and t to the power minus x this is dimension of eta dimension of rho rho is a density density is mass upon volume so m1 l to the power minus 3 so m to the power y l to the power minus 3 y right and the dimension of r r is a radius to so l to the power z so if you add all these to so m to the power x plus y l to the power minus x minus 3 y plus z and t to the power minus x this is the dimension of second term and according to homogeneity principle we uh, will compare the dimension of both the terms dimension of vc is equal to dimension of eta to the power x rho to the power y r to the power z so what is dimension of vc this is m0 l1 t minus 1 and dimension of this term is m to the power x plus y l to the power minus x minus 3 y plus z and t to the power minus x so if we compare power of m then x plus y is equal to 0 if we compare power of t then minus x is equal to minus 1 it leads to x is equal to 1 if we put value of x in above equation then we will get 1 plus y is equal to 0 means y is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 1 and if we compare power of l then minus x minus 3y plus z is equal to 1 the value of x is equal to minus 1 uh, minus 3 into minus 1 plus z is equal to 1 so minus 1 minus 1 plus 3 plus z is equal to 1 so z is equal to uh, this will be minus 1 plus 3 minus 2 no, plus 2 plus 2 right side means I got to minus 2 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so z is equal to minus 1 so the value of x is 1 y is minus 1 z is minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 min means option b is a correct one right